I'm so bored. Got nothing to do. My name is Yuya Takizawa. I'm just an average sophomore in high school. I didn't have friends and didn't play in any clubs. So I spent almost every weekend at home. You look sleepy, brother. Yeah, as usual. She's Mizuki Takizawa, my sister who's one year younger than me. She's not smart, but she's cute, cheerful, and extroverted. Because of that, she has a lot of friends and often hangs out with them on weekends. She goes to a different high school than me, but I've heard rumors that she gets asked out pretty often. By the way, my friend's coming over soon. Someone's coming again, huh? You really have a lot of friends, don't you? So don't dress like that, brother. Go get changed. I'll be in my room. I'm too lazy to get changed. No! What if you run into them when you go to the bathroom or something? I don't really mind. I do. If they're going to see you, I would want you to look good. What did you say? Ugh, nothing. Just hurry and go get changed. Fine, fine. With a push from my sister, I reluctantly went back to my room to change. This should be good enough. I feel like I didn't even need to change, but I would rather not have Mizuki complain. Oh, looks like they're here. I wonder who they are. Well, if I do see them, it'll just be for a second in the hallway or something, so I guess it's none of my business. And about 10 minutes after her friend arrived... Hey brother, can I borrow your games? <gasps> At least knock on the door before you come in! Uh, you're not doing anything anyway, so why not? Yeah, I guess... Oh, hello! I'm Mizuki's brother, Yuya Takizawa. My name is Nazuna Hanada. I'm in Mizuki's class. She looks pretty quiet. She's in Mizuki's class, so she must be a freshman. I feel like I've seen her before. But if she's in the same school as Mizuki, it must be a different person. I'll take out the cords, so pick the games you want. You don't have to take it out. We're playing here. What? How come? You have a TV in your room. Come on. Your TV's bigger. <sighs> I'll be in the living room then. Let's play together, brother. It'll be more fun with three people. I don't mind. But are you fine with that, Hanada-san? If Mizuki says so, I don't mind. Nazuna, why do you look like you're about to fight someone? Come on! Be more friendly! Oh, uh, okay. Mizuki, can I talk to you for a second? What? Let's play already! She doesn't like me, does she? Just go back to your room and play with the two of you. Uh, you two are a pain. She's just not used to being around guys. She says it's okay. She dodged my concerns and we decided to play games with the three of us. I lost again! Go easy on me, brother! I never go easy, even against beginners. Oh, you're so mean! That's why you don't get the girls! That's a little harsh, don't you think? Don't you think so too, Nazuna? Hmm, yeah, a little bit. Er, uh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean it like that. I'll play seriously next time too. It's okay. Then Hanada-san's streak began. First place five times in a row! Nazuna, you're so good at games! You're kidding. Why are you so good? I like games. Come on, brother. What did you say earlier? I didn't say anything. I never go easy, even against beginners. But to Nazuna, you're the beginner. Leave me alone! Hmm, I think Nazuna is too good at games for it to be fun. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about our love life. Do you have a girlfriend, brother? Uh, not right now. Right now? You never had one to begin with. Don't ask if you already know. I don't even have friends. How am I going to make a girlfriend? Uh, you're right. Do you want one? Eh, uh, it seems like a pain, so not really. How can you say that when you've never had one? Wouldn't you agree, Nazuna? Yeah, I agree. So you two have boyfriends? We can get one whenever we want! But not right now, right, Nazuna? Yeah, I won't go out with someone unless I really like them. People who aren't popular all say the same thing. Are you sure about that, brother? I got asked out twice this month. How about you, Nazuna? Like five? See, we're pretty 
pretty popular. What about you, brother? Uh, I can't say zero. About two. Huh. <sighs> what kind of girls have you been asked out by? I have a bad feeling about this. Age, hairstyle, what school? What? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I was curious. Tell her the truth, brother. I apologize. I've never been asked out by anybody. I tried to look cool. Ah, oh, I'm glad. I had to tell the truth, or else I had a bad feeling. Good for you, brother! You must be really popular with the guys, Hanada-san. Well, you are cute, so it makes sense. Oh, uh, cute? Um, uh, what part of me? Overall, I guess. I think if you asked anyone, they'd say you're cute. You don't understand the female mind. It's like when a girlfriend asks you what you like about her and you say everything. Is that bad? Of course! If you're gonna say everything, you have to follow up by complimenting them on a lot of things. Like her eyes or her hair. Can't you think of anything? I said everything because it includes her pretty eyes and hair. Oh, th then I'm glad. Ooh, good on you. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, sorry, I forgot. I'll get ready to go. What happened? What happened? I actually promised a friend that I would go to a concert with them today. You forgot about it, huh? Yes. My friend has the ticket, so I completely forgot about it. Nazana, I'm sorry. I promised them beforehand, so is it okay if I leave? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess that's it for today. Sorry, I'll be back later. Huh? Aren't we done here? It'll be night by the time you get back. Yeah, but Nazana's sleeping over today. I didn't hear that. Uh, you did now. All right, see ya. Take good care of Nazana while I'm gone. Come on, wait a second. She's gone. Yeah. Uh, what am I supposed to do about this situation? Um, sorry about my sister. No, it's fine. Is your house far from here? Um, no, it's pretty close by. Then why don't you go home and come back once Mizuki comes home? You don't want to be alone with me that much. It's not that I don't like it, but isn't it dangerous to be home alone with a guy? My dad's on a business trip and my mom works night shifts, so there's no one home today. Are you going to do something to me? No, I can't promise you I won't, but... You can if you want. Huh? What did you say? Uh, it's nothing. Then how about staying in Mizuki's room for now? You can take as many games or manga as you want from my room. <laughs> You're fine with your losing streak? Uh, I'm not happy about that, but... Let's play then. All right. Wait, why are you sitting here? <laughs> why not? You're not going to do anything to me, right? She's completely different from when Mizuki was here. This isn't good. I need to get a grip. <laughs> you, Yakun, you're getting worse than before. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> not really. Wait, did you call me by my first name? Um, you and your sister share the same last name, so it gets confusing. Uh, you weren't even calling Mizuki by her last name in the first place. Forget about the small things. You can call me Nazana as well. No, last name is fine. Nobody has the name Hanada, so... <laughs> you can call me Nazana if you like. Then... Is it okay to call you Hanada-san? Nazuna. Nazuna. That's good. I gave in to her pressure and called her by her first name. <sighs> I'm satisfied now. So, is it okay if I start preparing for dinner? Mizuki told me to cook something for you using whatever's left in the fridge. Huh? From Mizuki? When? Uh, well, I, I got a message just now. Mizuki's going to have dinner with her friend, so it looks like it'll be just the two of us. I see. Yes. All right. I'll borrow the kitchen. It's Mizuki's, but you can use it if you want. Thank you. Yeah, I'll help too. I don't know if I'll be useful, but... Thank you. Let's do it together then. You need to make your hands into a cat paw when cutting food. Yeah, I think I vaguely remember that. I was so bad in my cooking class that the girls had to teach me how to cook. Huh? Are you popular with the girls, Yuya-kun? The shy look Nazuna had when she first came here was no longer there. No, it's not what you think. 
I was just so bad at cooking to the point where I was causing trouble for my group. So they helped me out. Oh, I'm okay with that, I guess. There was a moment of awkwardness, but the food was ready. Looks really good. I'm really bad at cooking, so I admire you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's eat before it gets cold. This is delicious! I'm glad. I can teach you a few things about cooking if you'd like. It's a skill that'll be useful when you become a college student or an adult. Thanks. I might take your word on that. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. Like, how to cut this sausage into an octopus shape. I remember those. They were packed in my lunch when I was in elementary school, and Mizuki would get so excited about them. My mom used to make them, too. Do you remember a lot of the memories from elementary school, Yuya? Hmm? I'm not sure. I don't remember much about my childhood. I was too busy playing. I... I see. I remember my elementary school days vividly. I couldn't make out Nazuna's small voice, but I could tell what she said. Nazuna? Are you okay? Wait, why are you... Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'll be waiting in Mizuki's room. Then Nazuna went back to Mizuki's room without listening to me. So I decided to go back to my room too. That expression. And those tears. I feel like I've seen them somewhere. Why are you crying? A boy in my class made fun of my name. Name? What is it? Nazuna. They made fun of me for having the same name as that weed. Weed? That's not a weed, that's a flower! I think those flowers are really pretty! Uh, thanks. Besides, it's cool to have the same name as a flower, right? Don't worry about that. Let's play in the sandbox over there. My sister's there too! Okay, thanks. Oh, Nazuna-chan! Mizuki-chan? Wait, that means you're Mizuki-chan's brother? Yeah, Nazuna, I didn't know you were close with my brother. I just talked to him for the first time just now. Oh, really? You guys seem like friends! So let's all hang out together! Okay. I remembered. That girl from that time was Nazuna-chan. Although it was when we were little, kids were so mean back then. The lack of empathy from kids can be frightening. Yuya-kun, can I come in? Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry for crying earlier. I don't blame you for not being able to remember the past, which is why I wanted to make new memories with you from now on. So, can I sleep with you today? We're not even dating. We can't do that. And I remembered. Uh, really? Yeah. The girl that was crying back then was you. For me, it was the day I started liking my name. So I'm glad you remembered. We hung out a few times after that, but my parents had to move for work, and I had to change schools. So it's understandable that you couldn't remember it right away. Thanks. I'm glad you put it like that. Yeah, and since you were able to remember, I guess it's time to tell you. Huh? Yeah. Actually... Then Nazuna started telling me about the plan she made with Mizuki. Apparently Mizuki's concern was a lie, and she was staying over at another friend's house. Mizuki said that if you and I talked alone, we could reminisce about the past, which is why she left us alone together. I see. I guess I have to thank Mizuki then. Yeah, I'll tell her that for you. Oh, by the way, there's something else Mizuki told me. What would that be? Uh, um... Nazuna, what are you- Nazuna! She told me... I could be Mizuki's sister-in-law. Mizuki said that? But before that, did you just kiss me? It's okay to kiss a guy you really like, right? R really like? That was my way of asking you out. Can you give me an answer? Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Really? I'm so glad. Now that we're going out, let's sleep together in your room today. Hmm, Mizuki isn't coming home today, so... What? Well, isn't that a little too fast? It's good that I was able to remember the past, but it looks like the fun was just about to begin. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ichisei. This is Mayumi Ichisei. She's one of my classmates and the top student at our school. She has the best grades and performs perfectly in school sports. She's also popular for her good looks. I see. Would you like me to help out? Oh, thank you, Ichisei. You're always good in a pinch. 
She's polite to everyone, and she always helps everyone out with their problems. Because of that, I've had a bit of a crush on her too. On the other hand, I was... <sighs> I'm so tired. Kazuma Kaneki, a textbook slacker. Unmotivated and only interested in games. At least I've managed to keep my credits and get to 10th grade, but... Kaneki! You slacked off today, again! Well, I was tired, so... <laughs> you play games all the time. Ugh, you little... I would often get scolded by our homeroom teacher. One day, during lunch... I'm so tired. I think I'll just slack off today. I was trying to take a nap in the school clinic, then... Huh? What? Handcuffs? I was surprised to see my wrist shackled. I turned to see who had just chained me, and to my shock... I finally got you, Kazuma-kun. <laughs> Ichisei! It was Ichisei! Don't you know you shouldn't be slacking off? Uh, no. I'm sick. You know you're lying, don't you? No, I'm not lying! And what's with these handcuffs? I'm bored. I think I'll just slack off today, then. I have the proof right here. This stinks. You planned all this out just to catch me. Let's go, then. Fine, I'll go to class. Just uncuff me. Ah, yes. But, um... What? How silly of me. I forgot the key in the student council room. Silly? Isn't this extreme to begin with? I am sorry, I really am. But please, could you come with me? I don't have much of a choice, so I agreed to walk with her. So, why do you always want to slack off like that? Because I'm tired, and I don't feel like it. You don't feel like it? Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> These are your grades, you half-witted moron! You'll never get into a national university with these. Oh, we might need to shift your career path. Kaneki? Kaneki? Kaneki, are you okay? <sighs> nothing. It's nothing. You look pale. No, really, it's nothing. <laughs> the point is, I've always been a good for nothing. I've never succeeded in anything. Even if I studied hard, it wouldn't make a difference. I see. I'm sorry. Oh, I know. I'll support you with your school life. Support? What kind of support? Something that will change your life here forever. Something like... love? Huh? Does she mean she's going to introduce me or something? I mean, I won't say no to a girlfriend, but... I doubt there's a girl who would want to date someone like me. <laughs> there is. Right here. Right... Here? Right in front of you. Ichisei? You'd be willing to go out with me? Well, yes. Is that okay? Are you... Are you serious? Y yes I'm serious. Am I not good enough for you? She's... She's so cute. I know she's doing it for me, but should we really do this? Now that I think about it, how am I supposed to go out with her anyway? Should I get together with her? With her? The top student of our school? I have to have loving feelings for her, right? Right? Ah, this is happening so fast, I can't think straight! I... I can't accept. Why? You're the school's top student, and I'm a horrible dope. It would never work out. I don't know you enough to love you like that. I would be too distant. Do our reputations matter that much? Huh? I think our feelings are more important than that. What? But weren't we talking about doing all this to end my laziness? I lied. I wanted to talk to you, alone. That's why I handcuffed you and brought you here in the first place. My point is, I love you. I should have told you this at the start. So that's why she did all that. But still, I'm telling you, I'm not the kind of person you should be with. Maybe I should tell you about the time I started to like you. When was that? It's a little embarrassing, but here goes. 
Last month, I was depressed about my work as class president. <sighs> Why is it always like this? I guess I'll just do it in the classroom. I'd rather not bother the other student counselors anyway. I've always had a hard time asking others for help. That's when... Huh? Ichisei? Staying late again? Kaneki? What are you doing here? Uh, I just woke up after dozing off in class. <laughs> Shouldn't you try not to doze off? So, you want some help? Uh-huh. But I... I'd rather do something good to ease off our teacher's wrath. So, so could you give me something to do? Kaneki... How about you apologize to your teacher? <coughs> I should have known. Of course you should! You slacked off, so you've got to go and say sorry about it. All right, I'll go ahead and get scolded. I'll help you afterwards. Huh? Catch you later. Wait, what? After you left, you came back and helped me out, just like you said you would. I was really happy that you did that for me. Since then, I couldn't help but glance at you all the time. I remember that, now that she mentioned it. It was an ulterior motive. I thought that maybe, just maybe, I could become friends with her. I didn't think much of it after that, until today. I definitely never thought I'd be cuffed and dragged into the student council room. Then, you'll accept my confession? Y yes this this is embarrassing, isn't it? It was going well, up to this point. Could you remove these handcuffs then? It's almost time for class. Ah, yes. Uh, the key. Where's that key? Hmm. What's wrong? I actually don't know where it is. I have a spare one at home, though. What? So we're going to class like this? But we're dating each other now, so it shouldn't be a problem. But it is a problem! How can we go to class like this? We just have to be plain and obvious about it. Excuse me, plain and obvious? After lunch... Uh, moving on. The next... Uh, the, the next... Um... I attended class, still cuffed to Ichisei. <laughs> My classmates must have guessed something. No one spoke a word to us, but our teacher... I don't mean to pry, but since when are you to assign neighboring seats? It's nothing. Please continue with the lesson. Um, uh, I also want to, um, point out... Come on, Sensei. Say it! You want to know what's with those handcuffs? Accessories are not allowed in class! That's it? You're avoiding the question? How are those things accessories? These aren't accessories. Aren't accessories? Then, what is it? What? Isn't it pretty clear these aren't accessories to begin with? This is a sign of our love! What? Love? <laughs> yes! I started dating Kaneki! We're bound... We're bound together in our own beautiful way! And this is a sign of our love! You idiot! She's never going to buy that! I-I-I uh, see. You two are... You two are now in some twisted relationship. Sensei? I I heard people are quick to go out with each other these days, but handcuffs? No, Sensei, it's not like that. No, you don't have to say anything. I already have too much to process. I I feel like that time when I ate a large sized pork cutlet and that yummy eel bowl. I I'm feeling a little sick now, so. It'll be self-study for the rest of class. She's leaving? Seriously? After we were done for the day, I walked with Ichisei to her house to get the cuffs removed. Ah, why did you have to say that? Say what? Now everyone thinks we're some weirdo couple. This is just going to make my school life worse. I'm sorry, I got careless. I, I caused more trouble for you again, didn't I? Or, do you want to break up with me? What? No, that's not what I meant. I'm just saying that it was embarrassing. Then we can still be together? Uh, yeah, I'll stay at least. But didn't she sort of scare everyone off with that? Something feels wrong here. I'm not sure why I didn't take that chance to break up with her. Looking back, 
I might have just been trying to spare her feelings. Here's my house. My parents won't be home today, though. Wow! Something's not right. I'm visiting her house. I should be feeling excited. But my gut's saying, and handcuffing me today? Right when her parents aren't home? I must be overthinking it. Ichise then invited me to her room. I found the key. Yes, I'll finally be free with this. Huh? Ichise? <laughs> Suddenly, Ichise shackled me to her bed. We're all alone. You understand, don't you? Uh, I don't understand. Please, there's only one thing lovers do in private. <laughs> She's going to devour me! Don't worry, we love each other. It's only natural. <laughs> but I am worried. And get these cuffs off of me! I can't help it. I just can't resist my desire for you. <laughs> then resist! Is Ichise a yandere? <laughs> just kidding. She was kidding? Like this? Could you tell me the truth? The truth? You were hiding something from me when we talked in the student council room, weren't you? Huh? Why do you really never feel like studying? Would you be willing to tell me? Hmm. I don't feel like it. I really don't. I won't make it my parents' fault, but... My parents are obsessed with grades and interviews. But no matter how hard I studied, I was too incompetent for them. I always thought they just forced their expectations on me and turned on me when I couldn't meet them. That's why I decided, if I wasn't good enough to begin with, I should just be the lazy, worthless fool they say I am. Did you say? Unforgivable! You aren't your parents' property! You're a kind and good person! You aren't worthless! Ichise! So, let's raise our kids nice and easy. Yeah, nice and easy. Wait, what? Our first baby is a girl. Then, our second one is a boy. <laughs> Ichise? Kaneki? No, Kazuma kun. You can't change the past, but you can work towards a brighter future. So, please, let me walk that path with you. I got the gist of what you're trying to say. But aren't you trying to end this all on a positive note? And I can't really take your hands tied up like this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go introduce myself to your parents. Wait, what about these handcuffs? Sit tight, I'll be back in an hour or so. Wait, Ichise! An hour later, I learned that for some reason, my parents had left the country. There was a strange letter in shaky handwriting saying, we apologize for everything we did to you. I'm not quite sure what happened. It also said there would be monthly deposits to the bank that I could use freely. You're free, Kazuma-kun. Let's prepare for the happy future ahead. It sounds more like the pests have been eradicated. Let's sing together until we drown. I mean, do you really love me? I felt your kindness. It's the truth. I must have a soft spot for lazy slackers. I love you, Kazuma-kun. Just the way you are. <laughs> um, Mayumi-san? Yes, my love. Oh, man. She's already lost it. Following that, I decided to turn over a new leaf. Does anyone know how to answer this problem? Yes, Sensei! Me! Please, let me answer! Uh, all right, Kaneki? Lovebirds. <sighs> Never mind. I've heard that men change when they get a woman. Is that the case for him? <sighs> when will I get married anyway? If I stay the way I am, all of this will just be Mayumi falling for me. I need to show her that I've committed myself. I need to show her that I'm not the lazy slacker anymore. And this is how, after meeting his beloved, Kazuma turned into the honest, hardworking man he is today. After that, he lived with the love of his life, happily ever after. The end. The end? Don't just try to end this all on a good note. Oh, what's wrong, my love? Don't what's wrong me, Mayumi. We should break up. I'm not a slacker anymore. 
What are you talking about, sweetheart? We're lovers. I would never let you go. Her love towards me was... excessive. Is this really a happy ending? Sorry, I do think you're a nice person. But, I don't know, I can't really see you as my boyfriend. You're nice, though, so I hope we can stay friends. I can't remember how many times I've been rejected like that. My name is Midori Ogari. I just asked out a girl that I've been good friends with for a while, and she rejected me. <sighs> what? You were rejected again? Uh, Shiki-san! This is Kanade Shiki. She's considered the queen of my school for her good looks and for being the top in her class. She's a bit mean, though. She's always looked down on me because of my unpopularity with girls. What do you mean by irk? It's a bit rude, don't you think? N no, it's nothing. No, oh, really? Fine. That aside, my teacher wants me to run an errand for him. Care to help me? Again? Sure. But doesn't it seem like your teacher's making you work a lot? I don't mind. It means they trust me as an honor student. You go and ask him for work, don't you? What? You knew? I saw you from time to time. You're working hard for your grades, right? Well, of course I am. I'm working hard for my grades. I'm not doing it so we can be alone together or anything. I mean it. I know. Hmm. What? I know why you get rejected. Where did that come from? You stay like that, you'll never have a girlfriend for the rest of your life. Why do you always say things like that? Because it's the truth. That hurts my feelings! I'm not like that! I'll have a date a month or so! Hmm. You wanna bet on it? What?! There's no way you'll get a date. If you do get a date next month, I'll grant you one wish. Huh? But... If you don't, you'll grant me a wish. Deal? I... But that's... Getting scared? So you're making it up. That's why you're unpopular with girls. Uh, fine! I'll bet on it! But if I win, you'll grant me a wish! And you will if I win. Agreed? Yes! I agree! Then we have a deal. Yes! I finally did it! I've been watching Ogari-kun. I know him. He'll never get a date. None of his friends could fake it for him, and he doesn't have the guts to properly ask a girl out either. This bet is mine. Then, I'll finally be able to ask him out. Shiki-san, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. I'm looking forward to next month. Hmm, you already think you've won. I'm not giving up, you know. And so, this is how my bet with Shiki-san began. But, how am I supposed to get a date so easily? I was already rejected by the girl I was friends with. And I don't know any other girls I could ask out. I'll probably never find a date at school in a month. If I could, I'd probably have a girlfriend already. I tried looking out in the city. I'll just have to try and pick up a girl. Or so I thought. I always couldn't help but get nervous every time I had a chance to ask a girl out. How do those manga characters pick up girls like that anyway? This is so hard. Huh? What's the smell? So sweet. Da, 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 da. She's so beautiful. Oh, am I? Huh? I'm sorry. Did I just say that? Yes, you did. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's quite all right. Thank you for the kind words. Y yes. She looks like a nice person. This is a good excuse to try, right? Well, I'm sure she'll reject me. Hmm, aren't you? Uh, um, my lady. My lady? Oh, that's so sweet of you. Do you need something, my dear? Uh, if you'd like, could you join me for lunch? My, you would like to have lunch with me? Y yes, only if you're willing, of course. Hmm, sure. I'm sorry, I know- Wait, you'll come? Yes, I haven't been asked out for a long time, so I'd love to have lunch with you. Besides, you're pretty cute. She's agreeing so easily. Wait, I'm not the one getting picked up, am I? Hmm, is something wrong? Uh, nothing.
Let's go then. Where do you want to go? Uh, I actually don't know any cafes. <laughs> then I'll take you to one of my favorite places. And so she took me to a cafe, but... Th th this place looks so fancy. Now that I think about it, is this okay? I don't have a lot of money. Are you a student? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Relax. Don't be so shy. She seems so lighthearted. Which school do you go to? Uh, it's Yuki High School. Oh, just as I thought. Huh? Why is she so excited? And what does she mean by just as I thought? Please, come with me to my house. Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, what do you mean? Don't worry, come along. Don't worry? I'm getting scared. Scary as it was, I felt like I couldn't refuse after she had taken me to the cafe. With that, she ushered me to her house. It's so big. Please, come on inside. Is... Is this really okay? I'm not going into a house full of criminals or something, right? I'm back! Kanade, are you home? Huh? Kanade? Yes, I'm here. Wait, that voice! What is it? Wait, Hogari? What are you doing here? Shiki-san! Why are you here? Why? Because this is my house. What? So, this lady is your sister? Huh? That's my mom. What? She's not my sister. She's my mom. What? You're... Yep. I'm her mother, Minori Shiki. But you're still free to call me my lady. Why? She looks so young. If she's Kanade's mom, then she's several years... Hmm... What are you thinking of right now? Eh, nothing. But why are you with Ogari, Mom? And why did you bring him to our house? Hmm? To tell the truth, this boy asked me out for lunch. What? Why did you have to say that? Asked out? You asked my mom out? I... I didn't think she was your mom! I mean, you look so different from her! What? Well, sorry, mine aren't like hers. Why is that the first thing you compare? Quiet, you. That's it. Oh, man. She really is mad. Now, now, Kanaide. Mom, stop that. Dear, it's not polite if you don't calm down. <sighs> Wait, so if you're Shiki-san's mom, is your husband here? Sadly, he hasn't been here for the last 10 years. Oh! I... I'm sorry. It's alright. We've simply parted ways. That, that doesn't mean you can just pick up your daughter's classmate. Oh, but he was the one who asked me out. Th th that's not the point! Besides, I kind of like this young boy. <gasps> Are you just gonna accept that, Ogri? What? Well, I... Love has no bounds, you know. I don't think that's the problem here. Why am I in this situation? I was just planning on having lunch, then taking the time to get to know her before confessing. I didn't expect any of this. Everything happened so fast. Oh, Ogari-kun, you want a girlfriend, don't you? Then I'll be your girlfriend, so don't choose my mom. What? Shiki-san, what are you saying? My dear, what are you saying? I... I mean, it's better for you to go out with me than my mom. Hmm... Isn't that a bit selfish? Kanaide, why are you being so stubborn? Uh, th that's because... You're so desperate to keep Ogari-kun with you. Kanaide, you have feelings for him, don't you? What? No! That's... Then there's nothing wrong with us dating, right? I, I mean, it's... I don't know... Unreasonable, and... Then why are you trying so hard to be his girlfriend? I... Th that's... Uh, of course I do! I like Ogari-kun! That's why I don't want you to be with him! Sh... Shiki-san! Ah, uh, you finally opened up! What? Mom? Uh, 
I'm sorry, Ogari-kun. I don't think I can take away my daughter's classmate. I didn't know what it was. Her mom's word didn't change, but something about her behavior towards me was different. It... It was all an act? It's true that I think you're cute, but I wouldn't have brought you here just for that. I brought you here because I realized that you're the one Kanaide likes so much. Huh? Y you're joking. How could you have known? Because you have so many pictures of Ogari-kun in your room. And when I asked you, you told me that he was your classmate. So I recognized him the moment I saw him. You... you rummaged through my room? How could you? I actually wanted to ask Shiki-san why there were so many photos of me in her room. But this definitely wasn't the time. Oh? But it's not my fault you put them in spots you could clearly see when you stepped inside, is it? I meant that you shouldn't just walk into your daughter's room like that. By the way, Ogari-kun, how do you feel about Kanaide? Mom, don't ignore me! I... I don't know what to say. I... I never thought of Shiki-san like that. What? I... No, that's not what I mean! I never thought you felt that way about me! I didn't think you want me as a boyfriend! I mean, you're beautiful and a top student. I'm unpopular and a wimp! I was sure you'd reject me. That's why I tried so hard not to ask you out! Then... Then how do you feel about me now? I, um... Do you want me to be your girlfriend? I... I... Yes, of course. So, could we start dating from now on? Uh, um, I'm sorry. I really would. I want to, but if I agree now, I'd be dating you only because I learned about your feelings for me. Mm, you don't have to worry about that. Come on. But, but I do mind, especially with your mom watching us. Oh, I'll leave you two alone then. That's not what I'm saying! I'm saying I just want to sort out my feelings first. I see. Okay then. Shiki-san's mom seemed to understand what I meant. I wasn't sure Shiki-san would, but... Alright, but until then, promise me you won't ask out other girls. I promise. I promise I'll only have eyes for you. Uh, then okay. I won't forgive you if you break our promise, though. That last line almost sounded like a threat, but I had already decided on keeping our promise. From that point on, I kept our promise and did my best to be with Shiki-san as much as I could. Midori-kun, kanaide. Here I am. And as if to block off any chance of escape, Minori-san came to school every day to take us to her house. It felt like both mother and daughter were both doing it to try and eliminate any rivals. But ever since the confession, Shiki-san had softened up to me. She was adorable. I felt so happy over her affection. That reminds me. It's almost a month since we've made that bet. Huh? That bet's still on? Of course it is. We've never talked about ending it. Remember, if you can't get a girlfriend, then you'll grant me a wish. Wait, so is your wish... <laughs> so what's it going to be? We could wait until it's over. But seeing how the result's going to be the same, confessing now will give you a free wish. <laughs> You're so devious. <laughs> huh? But if I get a wish, doesn't that mean I can part with you afterwards? <gasps> no, you can't. That's not fair. But it could be anything, right? You were scheming to do something too, after all. Maybe I was, but no, that's mean. <laughs> You don't have to panic. I wouldn't do that, and I'd be wasting a wish. Mm, you're mean. What happened to that nice, gentle Ogari-kun I once knew? That's probably because of how cute she was whenever I teased her. She'd probably kill me if I said that out loud, though. Still, Shiki-san, we've been together so much, and I've looked deep inside myself, and I like you, too. Will you be my girlfriend? Uh, yes! Yes, of course I will. I've been waiting for those words for such a long time. Please stay with me, Ogori-kun. No, Minori-kun. And so, I won the bet. As for the wish, I used it the best possible timing, which caused agony for Shiki-san. But that's a story for another time. For now, I simply embraced and felt the love and warmth of the first girlfriend I ever made in my life. I 
Kurashina Kato, came to work today as usual. Looking sleepy, Kurashina kun? Oh, manager. Good morning. Please, you're our hope for the company. Huh? Oh, by the way, I wanted to talk to you about that new client you picked up yesterday. Oh, that. Can you put that achievement under Yuki-san, who went to the sales meeting with me? Huh? Me? You're going to put your achievements under someone else again? Important details and cautions that need to be remembered in the future, as well as how to respond to each situation so they'll take a liking to us? It's all written in a manual I prepared yesterday, so I'm sure it'll be fine. And if something comes up, I'll help. No, I'm not worried about that. But doing that isn't going to get you promoted anytime soon. I'm fine with that. What? That's the thing about you that bothers me. I like this style of work where I don't have to take too much responsibility. Plus, the pay isn't too bad for an average employee. That may be true, but as far as I'm concerned, it's men like you who should be standing on top and leading everyone. Um, um... Could I ask you something right now, Kurashina-san? Hmm? What is it? I would like to ask you about these documents. Yeah, okay. Chief, can we talk about this another time? You're right. Work comes first. Just think about it for now. Okay... I am... Um, I'm, I'm sorry for bothering you. No, that was nice. If it weren't for you, he would have talked to me for another hour. <laughs> so where do you need help with? Oh, it's this right here. I helped out my junior, and afterwards, I started my own work. If I get promoted, my pay will go up. And I knew that, but at the same time, I didn't like the idea of having more responsibility and having to manage it while assigning work to my juniors. I'm more suited to a style where I can finish my own work and help others when I'm available. I have a long way to go in my life. It's best to take it easy and do it carefree. Ah, <sighs> finally lunchtime. <sighs> what should I eat today? Hiroshina senpai Hmm? Oh, Shinjo-san! Looking good as usual. Her name is Kurumi Shinjo. Three years my junior from the same university, and now a very popular receptionist at our company. You look sleepy, Kurashina senpai <laughs> Yeah, I stayed up late again. Seriously, you are so unmotivated, senpai. You can't be an example to your juniors like that. Please pull yourself together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you know, senpai, people in other departments call you incompetent. Oh, is that so? They say that because you're always unmotivated and your sales performance barely scrapes by the required minimum. Don't you feel frustrated when people say that? <laughs> Let those people talk what they want. Hey, why are you being so cheeky? Let's all just enjoy life. Uh, you incompetent employee! Show me what you can do from time to time! <laughs> Whenever the time is right. I'm off to lunch then. Hey, wait a second! Why are you always like that? <laughs> You're so hard on Kurishina kun If he's that unmotivated, you'd want to wake him up. But is that why you're on to him so much? Why don't you just leave people like that alone? <sighs> he wasn't like that before, though. Huh? He was such a cool and dependable senior in university. I don't know why he turned out the way he did. I worked so hard to get into the same company. I see. You're hard on him because the person you thought you admired so much started changing. Huh? Uh, no, it's not like that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I would want the people I admire to stay the same, too. No, it's not like I admire him. Please, listen to me. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No, you don't! Anyways, why don't you go for lunch? I'll go after you. Uh, well, goodbye then. If you run after him now, you could catch up with Kurushina-kun. I'm not going to run after him! Yeah, yeah. Ugh! Why does she always tease me? It's not even like that with Kurashina senpai We just went to the same university. I mean, sure, he was pretty cool back then, but 
After I joined the company, Senpai's so unmotivated, it's as if he's turned into a different person. Plus, he's thick-headed, too. Uh, I... Uh, I feel like eating tempura today, so this will be a good place. With that in mind, I walked into a tempura restaurant that happened to catch my eye. And then... Is it okay if I sit here? Huh? Yes, go ahead. Oh! Shinjo-san! What, you don't want me to? No, I just... Didn't expect it to be you. What? What's wrong with me eating tempura? No, it's just unusual for you to try to eat with me. Oh. I, uh, it, it's not like I wanted to eat with you, Kurishina senpai I thought it would be better for the restaurant if I kept the table seat open since it's lunchtime. Besides, we used to eat together a lot when we were in university, so I wouldn't mind eating with you anyway. I see. Good on you for being considerate. Uh, you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. What should I order today? Have um, have you already ordered, senpai? Yeah, I did. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, what should I get? Yeah, her being a unique character hasn't changed since university. And so, we both had a nice lunch together. Well, she's been nagging me about my work ethic, but that's nothing new. And I've gotten used to that ever since university. It was pretty annoying at first, but by the time I graduated, she started following me around everywhere. So now, she's like a little sister to me. Oh, that tempura was really good. Yeah, that's why I come here all the time. Oh, you do? What? Uh, nothing. Okay. Huh? Is that? Senpai? What is it? Oh, wait, Senpai! Hey, Yuki-san! What's with that look on your face? Oh, Kurashina-san, what should I do? Huh? What's wrong? I... I just made our customer angry, and he told me he's going to stop doing business with us. What? Isn't that really big? Shinjo-san? Oh, I'm sorry. Yuki-san, can you start by telling me how it happened? Y yes well... Uh... Yuki-san timidly told me what had happened. Apparently, a customer was upset with her presentation on the new product because of the poor quality and content, and they said they were going to switch to another company because we haven't been able to provide the quality product they've been looking for recently. Frustration built up, and that was the result. What concerns me is their dissatisfaction with the quality of our product. Is the quality of our products that bad? No, it should be the other way around. I've seen the documents and checked out the actual products too. There shouldn't be any problems. Then how come... Yuki-san, do you have the documents they gave you beforehand, citing their requests? Yes, it's in here. I'll take a look. Can I also see your presentation materials? Yes. And so, I looked over the materials. I see. Did you figure something out? Um, I think you had a misunderstanding when you read our customers' documents. You might have gotten a verbal explanation too. So maybe the misunderstanding occurred from there. What? So, so it was my fault? Well, the customers did write the documents in a really complicated manner. Here, they made this part important, but the truth is, if they don't emphasize this element over here, it's not possible to manufacture a product that meets the customer's standards. Oh, uh, is that so? Then what should I do? We have other products that meet their needs exactly, so let's introduce those instead. Wait, Senpai! Do you know all of our products and their individual features? Hmm? Yes. But isn't that a given if you're trying to make sales? <laughs> I'm guessing you presented the new product because it does meet the customer's requirements as well, but the most important thing to think about is pushing the best product for the customer. Let's redo the presentation materials for now. Will, will you help me with, with that, Senpai? Of course! I stuck my head in in the first place, so... Thank you so much! Yuki-san, you haven't had lunch yet, have you? I'll prepare the documents, so why don't you go for lunch? Huh? B but It's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself in times like these. You've always been doing your best, Yuki-san. Senpai... Off you go! Thank you very much. Uh... You're very kind to that girl, aren't you? Huh? Isn't it natural to be nice to your juniors? Is that all? She's quite cute, isn't she? 
Well, she is an honest, sweet girl. Uh... Well, I'm gonna go back to the office, because I have to make some documents urgently. Uh, Senpai? What's up with him? People call you unmotivated and incompetent. But for her, you're the opposite. Does Senpai like that girl? An hour or so later, Senpai and the girl from earlier left the office. When they returned about three hours later, it looked like the business meeting went well, since both of them had smiles on their faces. Ah, uh, look at him, all flustered. What? Is it about Kurashina kun again? N no They seem to get along well together, don't they? Uh, so what? I just heard from another girl that Kurashina kun is quite popular with the ladies. Huh? I, uh, no, that can't be! People, people make fun of him for being incompetent! He seems unmotivated, and his sales performance always barely gets by. But the only people who make fun of him are from other departments, and the people within his department adore him. Doesn't that make you wonder? Huh? C could it be? Yeah, apparently he gives most of his achievements to other employees. W why would he do that? He doesn't want a promotion. Huh? But, but, why? I heard that a short time after he joined the company, his immediate supervisor quit, so maybe something happened then. Since he gives his sales results and helps people even when he's not involved, I hear he's popular with the girls. It's only a matter of time before another girl takes him, don't you think? <laughs> no. When I got home, I was looking into something I was curious about when the doorbell rang. I'm pretty sure there weren't supposed to be any guests. Huh? Uh, good, good evening. Shinjo-san? What are you doing here? How did you even know this was my house? Well, I have something to tell you. Um, this address was given to me by the section chief. Chief? Does he know he's not allowed to tell these things without permission? I... I'm sorry. Oh no, it's not your fault, Shinjo-san. Well, I would have preferred if you asked me instead, but you don't have to worry about it that much. So what did you want to talk about? Uh... Um... I, uh... I... like you, Kurashina-san! Please go out with me! Huh? What?! Wait a second! Why all of a sudden?! I... I liked you ever since university. That's why I joined the same company as you and kept on talking to you. Weren't you making fun of me for being incompetent? Well, I... I just wanted to motivate you, Senpai, but I found out that it was a misunderstanding, so I came to tell you how I feel. But still, isn't it too sudden to ask me out like that? Let's take it step by step. But, senpai, you're so thick-headed. I've experienced in college that if I beat around the bush, you won't notice me at all. It, is that right? Besides, I don't want the other girls to beat me to it. That's why I came here to tell you how I feel right now. Uh, I see. I wonder what other girls she's talking about. But if I ask her now, she'll get angry. Okay, I understand. But I'm sorry. Huh? I can't date you. No. How come? Because I never looked at you that way. You were always like a little sister to me, Shinjo-san. Does that mean... That's why I want you to give me some time. I'll look at you differently from now on, so I want you to let me think about it. I... I see. If that's the case, please say so first. How mean of you to put your junior in despair first. I'm sorry. I just want to be sincere with the girl who tells me she likes me. Uh, I, I can't tell if you're cheeky or sincere. Shinjo-san was angry, but looking at her face, she had a slight grin. Although there was nothing wrong with the promise I made with Shinjo-san, from that day on, she started to come on to me as if she was a completely different person. She would wait for me during my lunch break, and even after work, she would follow me around. In the end, she started coming over to my house just to be pampered. She was becoming so aggressive to the point where I started questioning who she even was. Shinjo-san, could you at least act normal at work? How come? Because everyone's looking. Shinjo-san is a very popular receptionist at our company. How could people just ignore such a popular girl coming on to me? Even as we speak, we were surrounded by guys in the same company. Senpai, please keep your eyes on me. 
Then you won't have to worry about your surroundings, right? I don't think that's the right solution. <laughs> it is the solution. Don't take your eyes off me, okay? Oh, senpai. I'm going to continue pursuing you until you can't get me out of your mind. <laughs> Please, take it easy. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm going to go all out. She made that declaration, and as she declared, she became even more aggressive at home. Days like that went by, and I was under her spell. I didn't expect it to only take a month. <laughs> it was well worth the effort. She was very happy to be going out with me. She said she'd been into me since university, so there must have been a lot bottled up. Senpai, by the way... Hmm? What is it? Why don't you want to move up and get a promotion? You say you don't want to be responsible for those around you, but you're the kind of person who feels a sense of accomplishment from that kind of responsibility, don't you? Oh, well, actually, I told Kurumi-chan about a boss who used to treat me well in my first year, who had to quit to take responsibility for a subordinate's mistake. My boss was a brilliant man, but the problem was he had too much work in his position as a manager to take care of his juniors properly. If I have to take responsibility for all of that, it's not worth it, is it? I decided I wasn't going to be a manager, and instead set myself up in a position where I could help other employees while getting my own work done. So that's why you gave your achievements to other employees. To avoid promotion. Plus, it would be easier on the boss if the people under him take support. I don't think we should have a system that puts the burden on any one person. Huh? Senpai! I love you already! Please marry me! What's wrong with you all of a sudden? You're so reckless! I don't know why Kurumi-chan proposed me for marriage, but since that day, she has never mentioned anything about my career achievements. I'm sure she understood my thoughts. As for me, we actually got married with the help of her push. But that's another story. My parents remarried and I have a stepsister who's like a little brother. Her name is Akira. And we always spend lazy time together because we have the same interest. You've never had a girlfriend? Unfortunately, no. Well, what if someone asks you out? Not in my day. What? I'm kidding. Girls don't even like me anyways. Don't worry. <laughs> worry? It's none of my business who you date. I don't care. Oh, really? Well, there's nobody that would like... Ryota Senpai, I know it's out of the blue, but please date me! Never mind! Uh, um, that is really sudden, Karen. I was asked out by none other than Karen Hanamiya. She's a pretty girl who's as popular as Hinata and Nikita among the first year students. It was shortly before Akira came to our house. She liked my friend Kosei Ueda, not me. How can I date Ueda Senpai? Please tell me. Why don't you ask Kosei yourself? Hmm, Ryota Senpai, please help me out. I would listen to her problems from time to time. But how did things get to where she asked me out? What happened with Kosei? Um, I'm not interested in Ueda Senpai anymore. So, why me? The more I started talking to you, the more I got interested. I really like you, Ryota Senpai. You're lying! You probably lost a bet or something, didn't you? Er, you seem thick-headed, but you're pretty sharp. You making fun of me? She's pretty sly, but I have to admit, she's pretty cute. What's wrong with that? You were even talking about how you wanted a girlfriend. So doesn't it work out if you dated me? Nope, I'm not dating you. Perhaps you have someone you like? No, my father ain't married and I have a stepsister now. Akira Himeno. Have you heard of her? What? Akira-chan? The super cute girl who transferred to her school from second semester? You're siblings with her? That's crazy! Yeah, crazy in a lot of different ways. I can't explain to Karen, but Akira gets really close. Plus, she's vulnerable, so it's dangerous. Well, I want to be there for her. Are you into her by any chance? No, I'm not. She's my sister. I want to protect her as her brother. If that's the case, what's so bad about dating me? Please, let me date you for just one week then. I don't need a limited time girlfriend. Let go. If you date me, I'll do anything you like. Huh? 
Uh, anything? Yes, anything. Uh, anything, huh? Oh, you're interested in that, aren't you? I don't think there's any guy that wouldn't, but... <laughs> then why not? You and I? <laughs> no, I can't! How come? Am I not attractive enough for you? You certainly are. Anyways, the first time is always the most important. I only want to do things like that with the person I truly love. As I was arguing with Karen. Brother. <gasps> Akira! I was waiting for you in front of the school gate, but you wouldn't show up. You ditched me for a girl, didn't you? No, 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 this is... I was in a lot of trouble, to say the least. I ended up introducing Karen to Akira. She's the one I was giving relationship advice to. I'm Karen Nanamiya. Nice to meet you, Akira-chan. Yeah, nice to meet you. I asked Ryota-senpai out, but I got rejected. What? Really? Apparently, you're really important to him. Huh? Important? What do you mean by important? Calm down, Akira. I meant that as a sister, as a family. Sister? Family? Yeah, yeah, not in a romantic way. <laughs> Stupid brother! What? Hey, Akira! Oh my, Ryota-senpai, some things never change. That was completely your fault, Ryota-senpai. How? I mean, look at her. Akira-chan totally has a brother complex. And then you tell her it's not a romantic thing. Of course she's going to be hurt by that. Ugh. Stepsisters can have brother complexes too? I don't know, but as far as I can tell, you have a sister complex as well. What? Anyways, our relationship was finally stable recently and now it's ruined. Hmm, so from Ryota Senpai's point of view, it would be better if your relationship with Akira-chan could be settled as brother and sister or family, right? If that's the case, go out with me! To cure Akira-chan's brother complex. What? Cure her brother complex? If you date me, Akira-chan will have to give up on you, right? If you don't keep some distance from Akira-chan, she's never gonna grow out of it. Well, but I can't just date anyone for that reason alone. It's just a suggestion. It's a punishment for me anyways, so if we end up dating, it'll be a win-win. Well, if that's the case... It's none of my business who you date. I don't care. I remembered the exchange I had with Akira the other day and thought about how I'd like to cure her brother complex. Fine. Just one week, alright? Yay! We're official now! So I decided to go out with Karen for a week in order to cure Akira's brother complex. It's just a pretense, but of course, that'll be a secret from Akira. That night, I decided to date Karen after all. Sure, go ahead. I knew it. You wouldn't... Wait, I can? What? I said go ahead. But only under two conditions. Care for me at home as usual. That's number one. Huh. So the same as usual. Yep, I'm your sister, so that's fine, right? Sure. The second condition is that I must accompany you to practice every day. Huh? What do you mean by practice? On how to date a girl. You never had a girlfriend before, have you? How can you be a good boyfriend? Huh? I don't want my brother to embarrass himself in front of Karen Chan. As a sister, it is my mission to help you with that. Why? All right, let's begin with how to kiss. Hey, you're moving too fast. And so my sister began teaching me how to treat a girl. I was going out with Karen as a pretense, and Akira was giving me lessons on how to treat girls. Why did it come to this? And so the first day of my fake relationship with Karen began. Can we go to the cafe after school? Uh, okay. Can I grab your arm? Uh, all of a sudden? In the evening, Akira taught me how to treat a girl. Did she feed you at the cafe? N no she didn't. Here, open up then. Oh, okay. Uh, uh... Fake relationship day two. Ryota-senpai, can I give you a hug? Well, why? It's fine, it's fine. In the evening, it was practice. Hey, you're too tense. Relax your body. Uh, alright. Like this? Yeah, that's better. 
Make relationship day three. Senpai, I want you to pat my head. Oh, okay. You're used to this because of Akira-chan, aren't you? No, I'm not. Practice in the evening. You liar. You're used to it because of me. I can't tell her I do this to you every day, can I? Well, you're right. I would be embarrassed too. It's our little secret. And on the fourth day of the fake girlfriend and dating lesson... Um, Ryota-senpai, are you okay? Huh? The one who approached me was Hinata, my friend's sister. She's also Akira's only friend. You look like you're tired. Your face doesn't look so well either. Uh, yeah. Just tired from personal relations. Huh? Is it a heavy topic? On one hand, Karen's getting closer and closer to me, although this relationship was just for show to begin with. On the other hand, I felt that Akira's brother complex was just getting worse and worse. How did this happen? <sighs> Anyways, my shoulder's been so sore. Let me massage it for you. Uh, thanks, Hinata-chan. What a good girl. How soothing. Akira and Karen both scream. Uh-oh! Hmm? Akira and Karen-chan? Were they friends? Brother! What are you making Hinata-chan do when you have me? She's right, Ryota-senpai! What are you doing when you have a girlfriend? It's not what you think, you two! She was just massaging my shoulders! Huh? Is this all my fault? Let me do it! If we're talking massage, I'm really good! Uh, ouch! Oh, I see. This is all Ryota-senpai's fault. All four of us ended up walking home together. Ryota-senpai is my boyfriend! I'm his sister! You guys, stop arguing on two different planes! Ryota-senpai, what are you gonna do? Hinata asked. Well, I just have to stick through it for three more days. What do you mean? I whispered to Hinata-chan about what had happened so far, and then... Er, you don't understand anything, Ryota-senpai. Huh? What do you mean? What's wrong with having a brother complex? There's nothing wrong with that. I would have guessed that Hinata-chan was a brother complex advocator. I feel bad for Akira, and if you're just pretending to be in a relationship with Karen-chan, you should end it right now, or else you're gonna regret it. Ugh. I've already regretted it plenty of times. Getting scolded by Hinata-chan, I decided to talk to the two of them. I'm sorry, you two. I was wrong. Huh? Why are you apologizing, brother? You were wrong? What are you talking about? Firstly, Akira, I was lying to you all this time. I'm sorry, I was actually just pretending to date Karen, hoping it would cure your brother complex. Huh? I already knew that, though. And Karen, this was just wrong. Just because it's a win-win doesn't mean we should be in a relationship, right? Huh? I actually have feelings for you, though. What? I'm so confused. Brother. You think I would let you date Karen without my permission? Senpai, you're so clueless. You couldn't tell I had feelings for you at all? Huh? What's going on? I have no idea what you two are talking about. Jeez, listen carefully, okay? The day Karen confessed her feelings to me, Akira apparently pretended to cry and left the classroom. Although she thought I would run after her, I didn't. So she sneaked back in and stood by the classroom door while listening to Karen and I talk. So I know you thought long and hard about me. Karen, on the other hand, did ask me out as a punishment at first, but she chose to do it on me because she actually liked me. On top of that, her saying she wanted to go out with Kosei was all just for show. She was happy going out with me for a week in the hopes that it would last longer. So now you know I actually have feelings for you, Ryota Senpai. And so I found out that Karen Sean actually likes my brother, so I thought I interrupt. And when I found out Akira-chan actually had a brother complex with Ryota-senpai, I thought I'd interrupt. Uh, stop! Stop fighting for me! So, who do you choose, brother? Of course it's Karen, right, Ryota-senpai? Uh, it, it, not a chan help me! <laughs> Don't ask me. And so the relationship with Karen came to an end. So you're really gonna break up with me? Well, that was the promise, right? Then let's renew the contract! 
There's still a lot left to do together as a couple. Huh? A lot to do? I wonder what that is. <laughs> well... Ah! Then Akira, who had been watching from the shadow of the door, came rushing in. Brother, you said you'll break up with Karen, Sean, since you have me, didn't you? I did! I will break up! I will! Ryota-senpai, let's renew the contract! And so it appears that Akira now has a rival? The battle between the two over me will only escalate from here. Uh, I opened my eyes, and in front of me was the face of a very pretty girl. It was my sister, Kaede Kisaki. Uh, morning, brother. Morning, Kaede. Did you wander into my bed when you were sleepwalking again? Looks like it. <laughs> hey, don't get so close. Come on, I like doing this. You're such a baby, aren't you? I am a baby. I want to be spoiled by my big brother. Fine. I gently pat Kaede's head as I tell her. Kaede is my younger sister who just started her third year of junior high school. Despite that, she's always been a pampered child, and I couldn't help but adore her. Whoa, the high school uniform looks really good on you! R really Yeah, I can't wait to go to the same school with you again! <laughs> You're right. Hey, Narumi, Kaede, hurry up and eat your breakfast. Today Narumi's entrance ceremony, so don't be late. My mom got angry while I was talking with Kaede. Yes! Kaede, let's hurry up and leave for school! Yeah, let's go together! I know a lot of the classmates from junior high because I picked a high school nearby, so it doesn't feel exciting. What? But there'll be just as many students from other schools too, right? I'm sure it'll be fun. Well, I guess so. Huh? A nice, flowery smell tickled my nose, which instantly made me look in that direction. A beautiful girl I've never seen before was walking in front of me. I've never seen such a beautiful girl before. What is it, big brother? I see. You're looking at her, aren't you? Uh, what's wrong, Kaede? You were fawning over another girl, weren't you? No, no I wasn't. Really? Yeah. Whoa. I've never seen Kaede like this. Is she jealous? Uh. Whoa. Her cheeks are so puffed up. She must be in a bad mood. Big brother. What? I'm that way, so. Oh, right. Be careful. Er, you too, especially. Even if a girl gives you the pass, you better not follow them. K Kaede, what's with that warning? I feel like you follow them so easily. I'll be fine. I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure? Why are you doubting me? Er... It's fine. Come on, hurry up. Hmm. Come on, don't puff your cheeks like that. Off you go. All right, I gotta go too. After I parted ways with Kaede, I walked to school alone and entered the new classroom. <gasps> You're? Huh? Who are you? Um, I'm Narumi Kisaki. No idea. Well, it's our first time meeting. I don't like talking to guys. Sorry, don't talk to me. Whoa, she's not very nice. S sorry. I ended up trying to talk to her a few times after this, but she remained unresponsive. So yeah, that happened at school. I told Kaede about what happened at school with Akasaka Shion, and told her that the girl was very cold in her response. I, I can't believe it! Why would anyone do that to my big brother? Well, what she thinks of me isn't up to me, so... Her? Why are you defending her? Uh, I'm not. It's still the first day, so that's normal, you know? I think with someone like her, it just takes time to get her to open up. Uh, are you interested in her by any chance? Huh? N no way! How suspicious. Kaede then turned to me with a questioning look in her eyes. Apparently she's suspicious of me. I mean, yeah, it was definitely love at first sight. So, you're sleeping next to me? Can I? Well, I guess you can. We sleep together every morning, so I had no qualms about sleeping with her now. <laughs> Big brother. You're such a baby, aren't you? <laughs> Although she's in middle school, Kaede is such a baby. I thought to myself, as I stroked my sweet little sister's head as she slept. Thinking about it now, 
I feel like I've been sleeping with Kaede ever since I can remember. She's old enough to know better. But I guess Kaede doesn't care? Good morning, Akasaka-san. I already told you not to talk to me. Oh, sorry. But doesn't it feel nice when someone greets you? Weirdo. Ever since then, I kept trying to talk to Akasaka-san every day. My friends, however... Kisaki's talking to Akasaka-san again! That guy's so brave! We're very surprised. I wanted to be friends with Akasaka-san, so I tried to talk to her regardless. Then, Akasaka-san's expression gradually softened, which had been so indifferent at first. Morning, Akasaka-san! Morning, Kisaki-kun. You really don't listen, do you? But you're finally starting to talk to me. You're a real handful. What? Did I do something that bad? I don't mean that. I mean how insensitive you are to people's ill wills. Hmm, I don't think so, but... I just put up with it as I tried to get to know her. At first I greeted her every day because she was right next to me. Then I noticed that she was slowly changing, which made me want to get involved with her even more. Thanks to that, she opened up to me a little bit more than before. Are you the type of person that likes to get teased? No way! What makes you say that? Oh, that's unfortunate. What? What's unfortunate? Shh! Your voice is so loud. The teacher's gonna be here any moment. Be quiet. I don't know why, but I don't agree with you even if what you're saying is right. I like people who honestly admit to their own mistakes. Yeah, I feel like I've been successfully dodged. Akasaka-san was cold when we first met, but she was surprisingly funny. Which makes me curious as to why she was so cold in the beginning. Well, I guess she's still cold towards all the guys except me. Hey, why does PE class exist in Japan? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I don't like PE. You're not good at sports? N no I just hate the hot weather. I see. She is... Er, you don't believe me, do you? I believe you. Yeah, I do. You don't actually believe me, do you? No, I do! <laughs> Uh, You're too close. Are those two getting closer every day? Why does Akasaka-san show so many different expressions to Kisaki? We just get glared at! Well, that's a treat too, though. Huh. Watch closely. I'll jump over it with style. This girl hates losing. Don't injure yourself! You're making fun of me! She failed after all. I don't know. I'm finding it kind of cute how she was so confident. You all right? Er, I messed up. Can you get up? Of course. <sighs> I embarrassed myself thanks to you, Kisaki-kun. Why is it my fault? I'm about to cry. She said that, but her face was smiling. Hey, what are you doing for lunch? Huh? I'm going to the cafeteria as usual. All right, I'm coming then. You didn't bring anything to eat? Don't you always carry a lunchbox? I do, but I was thinking of eating with you. Oh, okay. Let's go then. I was surprised when Akasaka-san asked me if she could join me at the cafeteria. I had a feeling we were getting to know each other better recently. And I'm glad it wasn't an illusion. Hmm, so you know a lot of the people? Akasaka-san looked at me with curiosity as we started talking about our days in junior high. Yeah, I do. You don't really talk to them, do you? That's because I'm always talking to you. Lately, I've been spending so much time with Akasaka-san, and when my friends come to talk to me, they run away when she gives them a glare. Some of my friends tried to use me to get close to her, but she successfully repelled them away. She's really cold to all the guys except me. I hang out with them sometimes, you know? Playing it cool, huh? Um, are you trying to start something? Aren't you lonely? No, not really. Uh, you're trying to play it cool again. Why would I be lonely? You're always with me, Akasaka-san. <gasps> huh? Uh, are you okay? You caught me off guard. Huh? What? It's your fault. I was clueless, but it took about five minutes for Akasaka-san to return to her normal self. This girl is so interesting. Kisaki-kun, let's go home. You want to walk home with me? N yeah Aren't you lonely without me? <laughs> All right, let's go. I've learned from being with her that if you tease her on something like this, she'll go berserk. On the other hand, if I obeyed her, 
she would be in a very good mood. So it was a no-brainer. <laughs> She's in such a good mood. This side of her is so cute. I do like her after all. At first, as Kaede pointed out, it was love at first sight. But now that I've spent some time with her, I was attracted to her personality as well. She may appear mature or cold, but she's like a cute child at heart. Oh, by the way, I wanted to ask you, why are you so cold towards the guys? Why all of a sudden? No, I was just wondering if something was up, because you treat the girls normally, but you're so cold towards the guys. You're not supposed to ask things like that. Well, I was just wondering. See, maybe I could help you, or more like I want to. Uh, it, you're so unfair. Huh? N nothing. I've only gone to an all-girls school before. Oh, you mentioned you were from Futaba Girls Middle School, didn't you? Elementary school, too? And nursery. Oh, that's why you're not used to having guys around. Yeah, I don't know how to talk to them. Well, if that's the case, you didn't have to be so cold, you know? Well, I was intimidated and creeped out by the way the boys looked at me, so I tried keeping a distance. I can't blame them for giving her that look. She's just too beautiful. I mean, she made me fall in love with her at first sight after all. I guess she didn't like the way they looked at her because she wasn't used to it, which is why Akasaka-san tried to keep her distance. Yeah. I can't believe I'm friends with someone like this! Do you even want to get closer with guys? I think I'm good with that. Really? Yeah, if I can get closer with this one guy, that would be enough for me. Huh? Is that... Ah! Huh? K Kaede? Huh? Who is that? I is... Is that your girlfriend? No, she's my sister, but... <sighs> oh, big brother! I told you so many times not to do this! What's is that cold-hearted woman of all people? Cold-hearted woman? You need to explain, big brother! Hey, Kisaki-kun, what did you tell your sister about me? Come on, spit it out! Why is this happening? I then had to give both of them an explanation. Although, I was uncomfortable as they were both staring me down. In the end, I think I managed to convince them. I understand, but... Isn't it weird how you're always together? What Kaede was saying made sense, and something I've wondered myself from time to time. However... Uh, it's not weird! Cause I like Narukami kun. She bursted out. Uh, Akasaka-san? What are you doing to my big brother? I'm the only one that's allowed to do that! And you called him by his first name! I know what I'm doing. I shouldn't step down, even for a second. Uh, are you trying to start something with his little sister? I don't intend to. If you treat me nicely, I'll do the same to you. Well, you two aren't even dating in the first place, right? And don't take my brother's arm like that! N that's true, but it's also true that I like him. Akasaka-san, I didn't think she felt the same way I did. I had to give her an answer. I do feel bad for Kaede. However, thanks Akasaka-san. I... I like you too. So please go out with me. But big brother! R really Are you sure? Yeah, it's true. It was love at first sight. But the more time I spent with you, the more attracted I was. Uh, I was just playing it off in the beginning, but I realized how kind he is and how warm he made me feel. I started liking him. So, I'm glad. Me too. No, you can't! I don't approve! Kaede, I'm sorry. I want to take your feelings into consideration as well, but this is our problem. But, brother... But the fact that you're still my precious little sister won't change. I'll keep spoiling you, don't worry. Is that okay? Okay... Mm. Thanks, Kaede. Kaede also agreed, and we were able to start a relationship. When Shion heard that I would continue spoiling her, and that I had actually been sleeping next to her, she seemed displeased. She was wearing a slightly scary aura, but I'm sure she'll loosen up eventually. I won't sleep next to Kaede from now on, but I won't stop spoiling her. She's a really nice girl, and I believe she'll get along with my girlfriend as well. <laughs>